<laughs> okay, if you've ever had an idea for a product or a business, but you just needed some motivation to make it happen, you want to hear the story of Sarah Blake. Yeah, we have a major crush on her. <laughs> Sarah's idea literally shaped the future of women's fashion. We're going to talk to her all about it in a moment. But first, a look at how Sarah's business empire began. She started as a door-to-door -door fax machine saleswoman whose idea and lucky red backpack changed the game in fashion. Her theory, sell the problem you're solving, not the product. The problem, woman's undergarment woes. The product, Spanx. Sarah Blakely is the founder of the wildly popular shapewear brand. It's since branched out to leggings, swimwear, maternity wear, and now white pants. In 2012, the Georgian native mom of four and self-made billionaire was named one of Time Magazine's 100 Most Influential People in the World. And just last year, the private equity giant Blackstone bought the majority stake in the company, valued at a whopping $1.2 billion. The now 51-year-old remains the executive chairwoman, one who is appreciative of her employees. Why am I skinny? After the sale, she surprised her team in a big way. To celebrate this moment, I have bought each one of you two first-class tickets to anywhere in the world. Along with $10,000 bonuses. But perhaps her biggest act of charity, settling the Huda and Jenna Great Spanx debate. Should people wear underwear under the Spanx? Don't say anything, Jenna. Drum roll. I designed them so you don't wear underwear oh! under there. <laughs> call Savannah! Call my mother! Thank you! <laughs> we are so happy, Sarah. You've By the been way, with me the whole journey. Oh we my really god. Have. You know what I love? You're re you're rewatching your life kind of unfold in that little piece, and it still gets you right in it the heart. Does. What is it about the beginning that does this? I mean, just I had five thousand dollars in savings and an idea, and I bet on myself, and it's just the American dream. I just I I don't take it all in until I see a highlight reel yeah. like that, and and then I just think, oh my gosh, it's just amazing. And, you know, 22 years later, still inventing products and making a difference in women's lives, which is just wonderful. I mean, you've created mm -hmm. one of the most iconic yeah. products. I don't know if you know, but even before I started here, there was a spank alert. Yeah. When our spanks were showing. Every time a little, uh, every time a little <laughs> was showing. I know. There's yeah, just we a little. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. But that's what we had. Yeah. I mean, everywhere I go, I get flashed. Airports, every cocktail party. <laughs> oh, they do? I mean, everywhere. So I this go. isn't original, is what <laughs> you're saying. I mean, I love it. But I how never did get you? Sold. I think that idea that we we talked about in the tape piece of, yeah. of answering the question yes. instead instead of coming up with the product, product or yeah. answering, you know, yeah. solving mm -hmm. a solution yeah. is so mm -hmm. brilliant. Mm -hmm. uh, what can women at home who are thinking, like, gosh, I want a second chapter, mm -hmm. yes. what's your advice to them? Mm -hmm. Well, for anybody who wants to be an entrepreneur, there's two main reasons you become one. One is you fill a void or create a product that didn't exist, mm -hmm. or you take an existing product and you make it better. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And if you are in those two buckets, there's always the right time is now. Like, you know, um, being an entrepreneur is like jumping off a cliff and assembling the plane on the way down. <laughs> so for people who have an idea or know how to make something, a product or service better, do it now, right? And yeah. don't wait to try to have it all figured out. No entrepreneur does. You figure it out on, on your way through it. Mm -hmm. You differentiate yourself and you solve the problem you're solving, not the product. You, and you, you have to be authentic, too, and put a lot of love into what you do. You have a great staff. I yes. can see that. And I yeah. love the look in their eye. But when you interview, you say you ask the potential employee to this, describe themselves in three words. Yes. Why, what does that tell you? I mean, it tells me if they're self-aware. Yeah. It tells me. Um, it tells me a lot. Yeah. Yeah. And then I. Um, I know. I just read that yeah. article. Did yeah. you see yes. that? Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. where we got it. Yeah. From. We yeah. did yeah. our Musk research. Asks like, if you start in one coordinate and yeah. go a mile north, a mile <laughs> south, a mile west, where yeah. are you? I'm yeah. like, I'm guess who wouldn't be higher? Yeah. Exactly. But I like. I'm this. like the bar. I'm yeah. still at the bar. <laughs> but but it does tell you what you think of yourself and how you see yourself. Yes. Well, how would you? Yeah. So how would you answer that question? Um, creative, <laughs> yeah. funny, and mm -hmm. um, kind. Yeah. And fierce. I was going to say generous, and too. Fierce. Thank you. Oh, my oh, God. You guys are nice. okay. okay, but now, we excuse want, us. Yes. The new product is oh, out. White, white pants. pants. Y'all, the elusive white pants, they look the terrible. But yeah. not 
on a Spank. Well, Spanx has been working on these for seven years. That's okay. no joke. Yeah. And we were like, there's so many white pants out there. We're not doing it unless it becomes her favorite. And so we built in a silver lining, oh. which is a technology that took a long time. It's in, it's printed on the inside of the pant. Okay. So for the first time ever, Stand up. the Stand pant up. is completely opaque. Yes. So like, I am wearing, this might be TMI. No, it's not. Black thong underwear that says dream big all over it. In you white pants. Wait, look at the tush. See You're allowed it. to show it. Yes. <laughs> you That's can't amazing. see it. But anyway, the pants are so amazing. They're pull-on. There's no hardware. They fit beautifully. You can dress them up, dress them down. Look, they you got pumps on. They're extra so Extra small cute. to 3X. We cover all kinds of I months. know. You really do. And by the way, you also make them in shorts because I just saw yes. some in our dressing room. I can't wait to try it I on. I can't wait to try it on. But it feels like you're totally living this incredible dream. Oh, it, I am. You know, mm -hmm. I love being able to. I've been advocating for women through product. Mm. That's really how I feel. And the team at Spanx feels that way. We're like... We want, when I stood in the manufacturing plants 22 years ago, I was really one of the only women in the plant, and <laughs> men were making our undergarments, and I was like, we're not comfortable in that. No, right, so we, yeah. Spanx has just been taking the position of let's focus on how she feels first in everything we make, and every prototype, sometimes it takes many, sometimes we never launch a product, but we're always like, how do you feel? Well, you know, we and, want women to have that Spanx feeling. And we should point out, your generosity goes beyond. I remember watching you on 60 Minutes when they were talking about all these people who were millionaires and billionaires who were giving away so much of their money. So yeah. that is just another beautiful component of what you do. <laughs> yes. Thank, thank you. you for hanging with thank us. You. All the thank Spanx you. alert. Oh, I love them. Oh, there'll be and many you know more what? to come. And also, thank you for settling that debate. I want you to weigh in on the polar plunge next, if you have time. <laughs> Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.